Hello, same clothes, same day, oh yeah. Um, today I was going to be talking about one thing but I decided to talk about another because my next Mental Health Monday video does not come out until the 28th and I rather thought that this subject was more pertinent to the intervening weeks than the other subject that I was going to talk about which is also important but that will be talked about on the 28th and that's going to be the importance of honesty. Today I'm going to be talking to you about feelings over the seasonal period. Um, when you're depressed and not feeling great and anxious and not too good socially, this can be a particularly stressful time of year. And you're supposed to be partaking in it all and for you it's nowhere near as simple as tis the season therefore I'm going to be jolly. For you it's like oh shit it's that time of year where people are going to expect me to communicate with them because it's Christmas and hello that doesn't really change anything. You know it's not like a magical one that you can wave over your anxiety and depression and whatnot. Oh it's Christmas zoom now I'm going to be fine for three weeks. You know it doesn't happen. What I want to talk about essentially is the fact that you have no obligation. I'm just gonna put it out there, even with family there is no massive obligation. If you find it difficult to be around your family on Christmas, unless there is absolutely no way that you can avoid it, as in you still live with your family, then, oh my gosh, you have no obligation to spend time with them, you know? It's not, it's not a given, and yeah, they might pile the guilt on and they might be shitty about it, but wait, hold on. Just because it's Christmas time, it doesn't mean that you have to suddenly magically, like I said, stop being anxious or stop being depressed or stop being in a vulnerable part of your recovery where you just can't cope with that many people and that much stuff. If you are feeling this horrible obligation to go and be with people and go to parties and stuff, you have every right to say, no, actually, I'm really not feeling up to it at the moment. It's hard, I know it is. I know how super hard it is sometimes to say, no, I'm really not feeling like it at the moment, especially when people can be so pushy at this time of year. They can be so freaking pushy. But you know how you feel and you know what you can cope with. And if you need to say, I'm sorry, I really can't cope with doing this, say it. They will just have to deal with it, you know? The thing is, you have to look after you first. And if you know that going to all these social events is just going to stress you the hell out, have a little frickin' festive spirit for yourself and don't go to them. This thing is, you know, what happens is if you keep on allowing yourself to be pulled into these obligations and just ignore how they're making you feel, it's just going to make you worse. It's just going to make you really unhappy. And if you are one of those people, who feels alone and unhappy at Christmas time anyway and yet somehow being pulled to work events or whatever if you do work or family events if you're forced into those it can make it worse those kind of things just make you feel more isolated and more socially awkward and anxious and that's not a good thing is it really it's not a good thing at all you don't want to be in that place I've never really experienced that loneliness at Christmas time but let me tell you what I do when I feel alone. When I feel alone, I sit down and I watch something that makes me feel cosy. And my idea of cosy is obviously a little bit strange because I will sit down and I'll watch one of my favorite horror movies or I'll watch Tremors, which is my favorite movie of all time. Or I will read a favorite book. Um, I love returning to books that make me feel happy. So I will read a favorite book and I will just sit there and cozy up in a blanket and feel all snug and warm and not worry, you know? So I know it's not really that much. I mean, there are, there are, for those who are alone at Christmas and really don't want to be alone, there are community centers that you can go to um, that hold Christmas dinners and Christmas lunches for people who are by themselves. What I'll do is I'll try and find some sort of lines or whatever to call up to find places like that and put them in the description box for anyone who is alone at Christmas and really doesn't want to be really can't cope with it. If you're a service user, you could always ask if there is anything being um, organized for the service users in your area. Sometimes the local authorities can organize get togethers. I mean, I know the funding is very poor at the moment, so that may not be happening, but you know, 
it may happen. Um, like I said, I will look for those things and I'll try to put some in the description box. But what I suggested to you in this video is if you are feeling obligated to go to things and you know it's just going to make you feel awful and stress you out, say no. Have some Christmas thoughts for yourself and take time out of all those obligations, even if people get a bit pissy because you know what? It's your life too. And you can say no if you know it's going to make you feel terrible, okay? And if you are alone at Christmas and don't feel like being around people but will feel lonely, like I said, I snuggle up with a hot drink and some snacks and I either read a book that makes me feel happy or I watch films that make me feel happy and it just takes me away from how bad I'm feeling. It doesn't always work and I know it doesn't always work and I'm not offering it as sort of a sop to anyone. Um, I'm just putting it out there as an idea for someone who's maybe panicked about being alone and wants to find a way to distract themselves. I find that's a really, really useful way of distracting myself from feeling bad or feeling alone. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I hope that was helpful. I feel like it was a bit waffly. I am very waffly. I'm not feeling great. It's the same day as the book review and the headache. And, mm. But yeah, so I hope that was helpful. And in two weeks time, I am going to be talking about the importance of being honest. So I hope to see you for that. Thank you for watching.